we're going to jump on to the third act that made their way to the world of dance stage. They were a contemporary duo out of L.A. called Jake and Chow, and they were unbelievable. They were very talented, very technical, and uh, we absolutely loved their performance. Now, they did their whole performance. They went through with a contemporary piece. The judges gave them three yeses, but there were some critiques in terms of what are they going to do in the next rounds? What are they going to do to keep leveling up and keep bringing their story forward? That's going to be something we're going to touch on. But before I get into it, Jenilyn, what did you think about their performance, and, and what's your take? Well... Jake and Chow from Los Angeles. I thought they were an incredible contemporary duo. Like they had the technique, the lines, and they were both very strong individual dancers. He had some amazing flips that he did and she had some incredible leg lines and she did that thing with like her arm where it like went all the way back and she brought it over her leg. Like that was that was pretty intense. But overall, I thought they were really a really strong contemporary duo and I really hope to see what what comes next. Again, for me, I thought that they were both incredibly talented dancers individually. I thought that individually they were able to show their skills. Again, Jake had a little bit of uh, Michael Demensky in him. He's obviously very talented, very able, and so did Chow. I mean, she was obviously very strong with her lines, fundamentally sound, no sickle feet, nothing that you could really point at and say, hey, you know, you really got to work on this. But what I really want to see moving forward is how are they going to come together as a duo and be one strong act? So we're not looking for two good dancers. We're looking for one entity that's going to be able to show us something we have yet to see before. And that's, I think, the biggest challenge for Jake and Chow is because, again, we've seen strong studio dancers. We've seen strong L.A. dancers come out and do their stuff. But how are you going to differentiate yourself? How are you going to be new? What are you going to act? that hasn't been seen before, that's going to be the big challenge for Jake and Chow. But again, they showed us that fundamentally and technically they're able to do it. Now, creatively, how are they going to make their storyline a little more concrete? How are they going to make their elements a little more wow worthy? Or how are they going to make their own style out of all the skills that they have? That is going to be a big thing for Jake and Chow. And I think we both agree they're amazing, but they, to take it to the top, have those couple of things to add on, which I think they may, you know, they have a good chance to do. Yeah, I think that you really hit that on the head with the storyline, yeah. because I think that having that storyline and concept will really bring them like the right storyline and concept will bring them further in the competition. And I love the use of the shirt in this specific routine. And the song choice was just, oh, I love that song. So let's go through to the judging panel do we agree do we not they got three yeses so we're able to make it to the next round gentlemen what do you think do you think they give a yes or a no drum roll please with a yes i agree with that i agree with that now yeah. baby ella what do you think yes or no here we go yes i'm gonna go with a solid yes i think they deserve three yeses i think they deserve to make it to the next round i think baby ella wants to go on the table at the end of the day, they have what it takes to make it to the next round. Baby Ella agrees with her obvious movement. Um, but at the end of the day, how are they going to differentiate themselves? How are they going to be a unique act that we have never seen before? That remains to be answered. But again, three yeses and a lot of respect coming from Luca and Jolin. 